The Vice President of European Parliament, Edward McMillan Scott, and former Canadian Secretary of State David Kilgore are urging the Australian government to investigate allegations that the Chinese Communist regime is harvesting organs from living Falun Gong practitioners. They're also urging the Australian government to boycott Beijing Olympics unless the Chinese Communist regime ends the genocide. Macmillan, Scott and Kilgore are in Australia on a tour to raise awareness about the harvesting of organs from Falun Gong practitioners in China. They are urging Australians to boycott the 2008 Olympic Games, which are set to be held in Beijing. Kilgore and international human rights lawyer David Matars says there is a clear evidence that organs have been taken from thousands of Falun Gong members detained in Chinese jails. Kilgore says the 2008 Beijing Olympics provides a chance to help stop the genocide. We, we conclude that this is going on on a large scale. It's got to stop. The window of opportunity, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is the, is the Olympic Games uh, in 2008. China is listening to uh, all of us, I hope. And if Australia and Australians generally and, and, uh, and uh, the rest of the world say this will not be tolerated, and if China, the government of China continues to do this and its institutions, uh, we will reassess our position with respect to the games. McMullen Scott says he met with two Falun Gong practitioners in China who pleaded for his help in stopping the persecution. The two were immediately arrested. And I believe that uh, even one person who um, has, been, has, has had his body used for organ harvesting constitutes a major crime. I regret to say that I am convinced that this is a widespread practice in China. Falun Gong practitioner Chen Hong tells of how she has been persecuted for her practice of Falun Gong. She says that while she was held in Tianjin City forced labor camp, she received unexpected body checks, a process necessary for pre-organ transplantation, yet she received no treatment. Kilgore and Macmillan will continue their tour, heading to Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and then on to New Zealand.